See, last time uh, we discussed chapter three. In chapter three, uh, we describe the distribution again uh, using numbers by statistics. So first of all, we describe the location, the location of the distribution, measure of the center, and we got three statistics: bold, median. And the mean, mean was average, right? Yeah. So last time, yeah, we discussed the three statistics, and still, yeah, we are going to continue chapter three to describe the distribution. But before the lecture, um, I have to announce next Friday, February tenth, we have exam number one. Yeah. Yeah, even though yeah we missed lots of the lectures, but next Friday we are going to take the first exam. Wednesday we are going to review. Monday I wanna complete chapter three. If I cannot complete chapter three on Monday, then I will give you the small lecture Wednesday and review, and we are going to take the exam the Friday, right? So. Um, now, when you go to the Cengage, let me go to the Cengage, the course resources, the Cengage. <clears throat> Already I posted the today's homework and the review homework and reopened as homework number zero, one and two. So let me change the view, section four. See? Here is the reopen number zero and it was nothing. Number one, two, three today. Today is one three. And also I posted the review homeworks, right? Yeah. And please check the um, due date. Friday, February 10th, before the exam. Be careful. It's not by the midnight. It will be before the exam next Friday. The reason why I reopen homework because I want you prepare the exam this weekend. Yeah. So because of that, today I reopen and post number three from today's topic, and also I posted the review homework from chapter one to three. Let me open the review homework. Um, you know, we are going to have uh, one more lecture on next Monday. That would be the last topic from the chapter three. So, see, I got, I put 23 questions. The later questions from the Monday's lecture is later. So, even you try the review homework this weekend, probably the later on, the 20s something, you cannot understand. Yeah. So, you don't have to complete the review homework this weekend. Yeah, probably you don't know. How can you get the answer? The twins, right? So you can complete it later. When? Before the exam, right? Yeah. So already I posted the homework number three from today and the review homeworks. Yeah, next Monday I will post number four. The homework number four from the Topic Monday, and you can complete the review homeworks. Yeah, it's after Monday. And also, when you are preparing the exam, don't forget the summary. Do you remember the summary? Chicken chip, right? The letter size, front to back. You can summarize handwriting, anything, everything. Right? Yeah. So in the exam, you can bring the summary and calculate it. Yeah, you have to prepare your own calculator. You cannot share, and you cannot use the smartphone in the exam, right? Yeah. So do you have any question for the exam next Monday, next Friday? Uh, we have enough time, yeah? Next Monday, Wednesday, or even by email, any question, ask me, okay? Yeah, and uh, please make sure, yeah, it's every single homework is reopened. It's until the exam next Friday. 
next Friday, we are going to take the exam, the first exam next Friday. Okay, then today, um, let me do the second part, the measure of the variation. Yeah, now we are discussing how can we describe the distribution. So the first topic was, where is the location, the distribution, the measure of the center. The second one, we have to describe the size. The measure of the variation. We are going to have uh, another three statistics. The first one is the range and the sample variance and the sample standard deviation. We are going to have uh, another three statistics for the measure of the variation. The very first one is the range. What is the range? Thank you. The range will be the difference between the largest one and the smallest one. Simply, I can say it is the maximum minus the minimum. You know, already we took the range. Do you remember the case, the value case, when we made the frequent table? K plus width, biggest one minus the smallest one divided by desired number of classes, right? Yeah. So ignore the denominator, just to take the upper one, numerator, that was exactly the range. So please look at this example. We have a two samples, and here is a minimum, maximum. See, when we take the range, it doesn't matter who are in the middle. The, the first sample is a 22, 22, 22. 19, 20, 20, it doesn't matter. We just take only the maximum and the minimum and the take the difference. So when I take the range, let me say it's a range number one from the supplier one. Maximum 27 minus 17. That will be 10. Another range, number two. 27 minus 17, 10 again. Same. What for? Measure of the variation. The measure of the size. Right? See? Now, here is the range. It is a statistic. You know, it is the range. I, I mean, the, it is not the range. It's a bubble. Right? Before, in the exam, when I ask the student, give me the range, many students answer the range will be between 17 and 27. <laughs> that is not a range. It, that is a range, bubble it, right? It's between uh, from 17 to 27, right? But now here is a statistic. A statistic must be a single value. So it is not the, the range, it's between 17 and 27, but only a single value, 10 and 10, will be the range as a statistic. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. It is very simple. The range, the measure of the variation, is very simple. Just to take the biggest one, smallest one, and take the differences, right? Next. Uh-oh. Don't look at this. Uh, 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 it's too much. Don't look at this. Yeah, please look at the example. I will give you six steps. Six steps. Today is the first day. Yeah, some of you took already AP statistics and statistics before, but most of you, it is the first day to take the standardization. I will give you six steps. Take your time, carefully, slowly, step by step, we can take the synergy, right? Do more practice, more practice is, is going is is going to faster and faster, right? Yeah. So um, first we need the X bar. Do you remember who was the X bar? 
oh my god, you forgot <laughs> everything. No, 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 it is not absolute value. Average. Sample me. Ah, you forgot everything. Last week, we had three statistics for the edge of the center. Bold, median, and the sample mean. Yes, thank you. X bar was the sample mean. Average. Can you give me the sum? Please take the sum. Huh? 36, thank you. Divided by how many? Six will be six. Uh huh. Yeah. Step number one. We take the average, the sample mean. Second step. We take the differences. Two minus the mean, six. Three minus the mean, six. <clears throat> we had another six. Another three minus six. Next, eight minus six. Ten minus six. One more. Ten minus the mean six. So the difference will be negative four, negative three, negative three, plus two, plus four, and four. Second step, we take the difference from each using the mean. Now, step three. Take the square. Negative four square. Try it. Using your calculator, smartphone, please try negative four square. Let me try. Um, here is the calculator 84, TI 84. When I plug it's negative four square. How much do you expect? Negative four square. Positive 16, right? Everybody knew when we take square, it must be positive. Don't trust your calculator. Sometimes you are smart. Right? It is not negative 16. Be careful. Must be positive 16. What should I do? Parentheses, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you need a positive 16, then you have to open it. Then negative 4, close it, square, positive 60. But we knew it. Any squared value must be positive, right? Yeah. So let me go back to my note. It must be positive 16, 9, 9, 4, 16, and 16. We knew it. Be smart. Uh, now, step four. Take the sum. Please. <clears throat> Please take the sum. Yes, yes. The red ones. Anyone? 70? 70? How many steps did I suggest to you? Six steps. Two more steps, right? Step five. Yeah, already we took the sum. Then now divided by n minus one. What was the n? Do you remember the n? N was sample size. How many was? Six. Divide by six. Minus one. Can you try 70 over five, please? Mm -hmm. 
14, thank you. Finally, take the square root of it. How much would it be? Square root of 14. What? Oh, come on, please try. 3.741. Let me take two decimals. 3.74. Who is this? The sample standard deviation. It is the sample standard deviation. We had another statistic just before we got sample variance. It is 14. So here is the two statistics. I, six steps. From step five, we already took the sample variance. Additionally, take a square root, it will be the standard deviation. Six steps. Slowly, carefully. Step by step. Take the mean. Take the differences, square, sum, divided by n minus 1. Finally, take your square root. Good, right? So, please do more practice in the homework. Yeah, number three. Let me see. 14, 14 was the variance. Take the square root. We got the standard deviation, 3.74. Let me give you another example. If 16 varies, how much do you expect the standard deviation? 16, 4, 25, 5, 9, 3, 4. Just a second. When we have a bigger variance, we are going to have a bigger standard deviation. Absolutely, when I'm comparing the 14 and 3.74, the standard deviation is always is smaller because we took the square root. But what I'm saying, when we have a bigger variance, the standard deviation is bigger. Smaller variance will be smaller. Right? Why do we why we need two statistics? Bigger, bigger. Smaller? Smaller. It's very simple, right? What they are for? They are for the measure of the variation. Why do we need the two statistics? It's almost the same, right? It's measure of the variation. Bigger, 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 smaller, smaller. Why? Think about that. Why? Why two statistics? Please look at this example carefully again. We had six values. 2, 3, 3, 8, 10, and 10 per day. Please read the example carefully. Who are they? Huh? The diamonds. Diamonds. What was the unit? Inches. Two inches. 3 inches, 8, 10 inches, uh huh. Average was 6. What is the unit? Inches, uh huh, yes. Uh -huh. So now I can say it's inches. 6 inches on average. How about the variance? What would be the unit? No. Uh, inches square. Thank you. 
Why did you get squid? We did it. Step three. We did it. In step three, we took square. Simply just we took the sum. Because of that, the unit four variance will be squared inches. Let me see. Inches, feet, yard, therefore the length. What is the square inches, square feet, four? Area. Change. Unit is change. When I take a square root, what do you expect? What will be the unit for the standard deviation? Inches back. Here is the answer. Why we need a standard deviation? Why we have to take square root? Because only because of the unit. Have you ever seen this kind of notation? Something plus and minus something? Uh, yeah. The first one is the mean, average. The second one it must be the standard deviation. When we want to take addition, subtraction, they must be have same unit. Only because of the unit, we have to take the square root to get the original unit. Okay? So please understand the sample variance and the sample standard deviation is almost the same statistics. Measure of the variation, but because of the unit. Yeah, we need the one more step to take the square root. Good, right? Six steps again. Take the mean, difference, square, sum, divided by square root, uh, n minus one, I'm sorry. Then finally, take the square root. Oh, now then, please look at the formula. Yeah, I hate formula, but what was in step number one? Again, please. Step number one, take the mean. X bar. Second step, huh? the difference is. Step three, square. Step four, sum. Uh-oh. Do you know who is this? It is a Greek letter, sigma. The reason why I wrote the capital S because it is the capital letter. It's a capital Greek letter, sigma. In math, what is the sigma for? Oh, come on. What was the procedures in step four? Sum, yes. Sum, S. Sigma, it is the letter S in Greek, sigma capital S, the sum. Step five, divided by a minus one. <clears throat> so now here, we took the sample variance. Additionally, square root, only because of the unit, it will be the sample standard deviation. Okay, good. Um, we are going to use the notation small s. It is not for the sample. It is for the standard. Standard deviation. Just a second. For the variance, it is not a v. It's just small s squared. Why? Reverse way. Standard deviation square. What do you expect? The variance. We don't need any other notation. Yeah, simply using the small s square 
it will be the very least. Right? Yeah. Don't be afraid the mathematical location. Yeah, you know, I split it into six steps. Take the mean, differences, square, sum, divided by n minus 1, and finally, take the square root for the center yeah. <coughs> Any question? Uh, the next topic will be the another plot. Yeah, we are going to discuss on Monday, right? But I want to show you something more. Okay. Yes. Um, I can give you another plot. Um, here is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's a four, six, eight, and ten. Um, here is a two, three, eight, and ten. Two tens. Uh, we didn't discuss this plot, but it has the na another name, dot plot. Again, the reason why we make the dot plot to show the shape of the distribution. Yeah. I just put dots for each to show the shape of the distribution. Yeah. So I just plot six values. The six diameters, right? Step number one, what we got? What we got? We took me, how much was it? Six. Step number one, we took X bar, which was six. Just a second. Last week, we had three cities, mode, median, and the mean. For what? Measure of the center. Right? Yeah. So step number one, we take the mean. We take the center in the middle. Can you see that in the middle? Right? Mm -hmm. What we did? Second step, differences. Look at this. When we got the range, we took the difference. How? Maximum minus the minimum. See, in math, when we take the difference, when we take the subtraction, represents the distance. Now think about the range. Maximum minus the minimum. Range, distance, distance between the minimum and the maximum. Second step, we take the differences. They are all the distances. From where? The mean. Center. Please remember what we are doing. What do we need for? Standard deviation. For the measure of the spread. So now, can you understand why we take the mean first? Why we take the differences? Right? Yeah. So please don't, don't just memorize the six steps. Please try to understand and remember what I'm doing for. Measure of the spread again, measure of the variation. So take the center. Take the distances, right? Yeah. So up to neg up to two, the distance was negative four. Up to three, negative three. Negative three. To the right hand side, up to eight, positive two, positive four, and positive four the distances from the center for 
the variation, right? Step three, we are going to take a square, but please take the sum without square. Please try it. Please take square without square, please. Negative four, negative three, negative three, positive two, four and four, please take the sum. Hmm? Zero. Did you get zero? Did you get zero? Zero. What we are doing for? Measure of the variation, right? Without square, simply just to take the sum, nothing. There is nothing. Now we have to make the negative distances be positive using the function squared. Because of that, step six, we have to take the square root. Because of the square, take the square root later, right? And additionally, take the sum that divide by m minus one, right? Yeah, and square root. Yeah, we got we got the variance. And that's another thing. So please, just try to understand. Take the mean, enter. Take the differences, the distances, and we have to make them all positive before taking sum and divide by n minus one. And we have to go back to the original unit. Ah, it has to root, right? So please understand the six steps. Yeah. To measure of the variation. <coughs> Um, now, here is the sample variance. Take the mean, take the difference, square, sum, divided by n minus 1. Yeah, additionally, take the square root, then it will be the sample standard deviation. But now, it is the sample variance. Right? <clears throat> Who is that? Yes, what is this? It is a sample root. Average. Take the sum, divide it by how many? What was it? Sample me and it was on average. Just a second. Who was it? Variance. Is it on average? Something wrong? No. It is on average. It is on average. Sample variance is on average. Of what? Square the distances. Average of the square the distance from the mean. Actually, the sample mean was the measure of the center. But now the sample variance is the measure of the variation. But still, it is an average of square the distance from the center, from the mean. Yeah. It makes sense, right? For the measure of the variation, we take on average of the square, the distance from the center. Yeah? Right. But because of the square, step three, yeah, finally, we have to take the square root back to take a standard deviation. So please understand the sample variance is on average. But in the denominator, we have to do divided by n minus 1. See, mathematically in calculation, minus 1 is nothing. When we divide it by 99 or 100, or divided by 999 or 1000, there's no difference. Statistically, I mean, the mathematically in calculation. But minus 1, it is very important in statistics. Don't ask me today. I will explain to you. Still great. Don't drop it. I will explain to you. I will tell you after spring break. 
this way. Don't drop statistics, right? Yeah. Just to do it. Just to do divided by n minus one. Okay? Yeah. It is very important. It is very important. <coughs> So now we had uh, three statistics for the center, mode, median, and mean. The other three statistics for the variation, range, not simply four, uh, variance, and the standard deviation, right? It's a three and three. What we are doing in chapter three, describe the distribution by statistics. Good, right? Yeah. <coughs> Um, already I told you, um, I posted the homework number three for the standard deviation. And also I posted the review homeworks from chapter one to three. And I'm going to post the homework number four Monday. It's Monday from the, um, the this one, right? The last topic. And we are going to review Wednesday and take the exam Friday. Um, the exam number one will cover chapter one, two, and three. Good, right? Yeah, we are a little bit delayed, right? But it will cover it's a three chapters. Any questions? Then here is the quiz number three. Yes. <clears throat>
Everybody got yours? Anybody who took the mean? Four? Anybody four? Four? Thank you. Then one minus four will be negative three. Four minus four will be zero. Five minus four will be one. Six minus one will be five. Then we take square. Then take the sum. Step five, the sum my, um, divided by n minus one. Finally, take the square root of it. <clears throat> yes, what? Oh, yes. I was wrong. Four, then two. Right? Yeah. They are all means, you know, right? Yeah. Thank you. No, no. Uh, in this quiz, I didn't give you any unit. So you don't have to take care of the unit. Have a nice weekend.
Yeah, so far, we have uh, 4.67 vitamin D in the field. It was a 66. But now we need the field. But we need the green one. Next time. This one Feel good. 4.67 and 2. Does this feel good? Uh, and here is a movement for the open. 4.67 and does this feel good? Yes, yes. That is 2.6. Yes, put over there. Yes, yes, 2.16, 2.16. That's because of the volume. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. 2.16. 2.16. 2.16. But when you do, when you are doing the film, you have to use more. 